We're gonna launch our homemade tracking spy weather balloon and track it down and catch it out of the sky. Three, two, one. a ballooning accident. <laughs> We're getting ready to launch this balloon today and George is going to tell us more about the balloon. So today's the day. We're going to launch the balloon which happens to be a 1500 gram weather balloon that you order from the interweb. It is sized for us according to the math that we've done to reach over 30,000 meters. I mean 100,000 feet. Really, really high. So once that bursts, our payload is going to come down on this 1.2 meter parachute. We are going to know where it is while it's at altitude. These are APRS transmitters with GPS location, all that over a ham radio system with repeaters. And you have to have a ham license, which is great. We then attach our radar reflector, which is a little heavier than the kind of cardboard ones, but we're trying to stay within the rules. And then this scale, which has nothing to do with all this stuff, though, is going to be used for figuring out our negative lift. So we'll put a scale on it and keep filling the balloon until we have a certain amount of negative lift. On our payload, we have an Insta360. This is a Garmin inReach device. These are just standard GoPro 11. And then we've got the Eagle Flight computer from high altitude science which will log temperature pressure and the actual altitude that this payload will make it to that's about it for the payload hopefully we're gonna find this thing I was literally gonna do the least sophisticated not possible do they have Boy Scouts in France yep what they call Boy Scout <laughs> <laughs> So what is that tank you're carrying, Tucker? Helium. Well, if it's helium, why is it so heavy? You're right. It should just float. So we just got done testing the Garmin GPS and everything's working. Remember that one only is good for 60,000 feet. After that we lose signal and we got to go over to the, the ham radio signal. Pigs have their own radio system? Mm -hmm. We're using hand warmers because they're a cheap and easy way to keep the batteries warm. In round numbers, I believe it was three degrees per thousand feet. And so it's going to be like negative 60 or 100, whatever, at altitude. And the batteries will basically not function, which is why on top of that, we the batteries in the APRS receivers are lithium. These are lithium. Everything's lithium. No alkaline batteries. It's a swivel. That way, as the balloon spins, this hopefully will not. And it's not a fishing lure. No, this has a bearing in it. This is like high tech stainless steel and it spins very easily. What's the significance of the link? I'm not sure. We're just going by the manual. We're going by what the book says. If you know why there's a 10 foot span between sections on a weather balloon, let us know in the comments. We're very curious to know why. So what's with the gloves? I guess that you can hotspot the balloons with your own grease from your fingers and they'll pop at a much earlier point. Will you put some on too? Go slow. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. One kilo. We want to get to at least five pounds. So probably twice this big. Is that seven pounds? It's seven, yeah. Alright. Ready? Three, 
two, one. Please, let's get found. Headed to, it's headed to the chopper. All right, so you can download an app called Straddle Flights and you can punch in or you can just use your location and it will give you an altitude of launch. You put in the other parameters and it'll give you an estimate of where the balloon's gonna pop and also where it's going to land. So we're gonna use that information to help us track it down with the help of the onboard GPS trackers. And we're gonna go snatch it out of the sky. So it is currently at an altitude of 66 ish hundred feet and only traveling 17.21 miles an hour going east southeast, which was not what we expected it to do. According to Strato Flights, we've got a two hour and 40 minute flight time. If it lands where it's predicted to, that's about 30 minutes tops away. So we got time. <laughs> I'm higher than the sky right now. <laughs> so we have a development. Originally, the prediction was the turnaround spot was approximately there at Virgin. It made a U-turn 12 miles before it was supposed to. We we're gonna have to course correct. We don't know what that's gonna be. We're just gonna have to do it on the fly. It's at 58,000 feet. Oh, it's coming down. She's coming down. You gotta load go up, for load, load, up, load up. So what's happening is the balloon popped way before we, before it was estimated. And we are scrambling to go in the direction of where it is in hopes that we can be there when it touches down. It was originally gonna go a lot further west, but it's, it's backtracking east now. So we're totally, heading in a different direction. So we are gonna jump on the freeway and figure out where to go from there. What is, what's its altitude right now, Clicker? We're at 12,000 feet. And distance? Two miles. Close. My legs don't lift as high as they used to. How high did they used to? High enough. It's hot out. Very hot. There's a little baby hill. A little mound, it should be at the top of that. See it? I see it. Come take a gander. All right. Land it up right. None of the cameras are gone. Go see how much we got. Yep. Look at how it just shreds. Yeah. It's kind of impressive that it stays so together. I thought it, like, that's a lot more balloon than when I've done it. 
All right, we have packed up our trash, leave no trace, and we are headed back to the lab. We're very nervous right now, which is why I don't have a giant smile on my face because nothing except for the data logger was running when it landed. So now we gotta check the footage. GPS is still working. Ooh. Wonder if you'll be able to unspin that. Well, everything's spinning right now. <laughs> so it's been a couple days since the balloon launch and we have learned a ton after scouring through all the data. It went high, it took pictures, it popped, it landed, we found it. So on the really basic stuff, success. Total success. A couple of things we're gonna fix for next time is we're gonna try to stop the spinning and we're gonna try to get the cameras to last long enough to at least catch the balloon popping. Boy, what an adventure. And if you like adventures, join us next week. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time.